So with a lot of returning players coming back to the game and a lot of new players joining, some of you guys might wonder, what are some of the best settings to help you aim maybe a little bit better, see the game a little bit better, just overall have better gameplay? Well, let's dive into those settings right now. You can see the storm is coming down on us, but that's not gonna stop us from getting into our settings. So let's start off with our gameplay. So for gameplay, there are gonna be a couple things you guys can put on. Um, show vault indicators is something that's a personal preference. That's whether you can see if you can mantle over the object next to you. Sometimes I have that off, sometimes I have it on. It just really depends. Show cover indicators, you can turn that on and off. On call status, this is something that allows you to help other players. If you put all, anytime an agent goes down, they can request for backup and that's when you'll hear that sound. You can set it to your friends and clan only, or if you get annoyed with the sound or you just don't wanna help anybody out on a specific day, you can always go in there and backup turn it off. Auto high HUD, I highly recommend. Turn off to keep HUD always visible. So usually I have mine on, so if you go here, you can see it. You see how auto hides? Boom. So when I zoom in, you see it. When I come out, you don't. So that is a setting that you wouldn't be able to have on there if you did it. So like, watch this. If we go off, it's always active, right? So just a couple settings that you can change. Um, and then sometimes these settings get reset. Like I'm pretty sure a lot of these settings I had off um, before. So it's just something for you. So auto hide, I always have mine on in-game hints once you get tired of just really like playing the game and you know everything you're gonna get tired of seeing those pop-ups all the time so you can turn that off if you're new returning you might want to keep that one on now show damage numbers always recommend this because that way you can kind of see how hard you're hitting those npcs or how hard you're hitting those players to kind of know okay i'm hitting this hard maybe i need a tweak my build a little however or keep working on your build some more show radar that's enables and disables the mini map that's going to be on the top left so you can have that off if you want a more where well, you don't see anything right at the top left you just see heroic but if you guys want to have that on which most people do well you just want to make sure that's on there but that's an option for some of you players who don't want that on show connectivity info i always like mine having on because you can find out if you're in a bad server so if you actually go here to this menu you see where it says social and you see where it says us east you can see it's green sometimes you'll get us west and it's red you're like okay maybe i need to restart or figure um try to join a new server sometimes you'll end up in europe like if i play with my clan a lot of them are in europe it'll say i'm in europe so when i leave their server i might be still in europe well then i need to find a new server so that's just something for you guys to um really keep in mind when you're playing especially if you play with people from all over the country all over the world you know we're going to keep going through here um player level visible this is really up to you you can have this on or off some people like it off because it clears up a lot of the clutter but that's up to you the menu glitch effect i have mine on but you can actually have that off it's really up to you menu strobe effect um i typically have mine off i don't know why i think there was like an update came out and a lot of these settings got automatic group refill a lot of times i have this off because if we're playing in a four-man team it automatically throws in somebody for matchmake before and maybe we're just waiting for that teammate to come back so yes no that's really up to you show skills in a group frame highly recommend this that way you know what exact skills your team is running on the bottom right where your teammates are it is show that show numerical skill cooldown time i like that um exit photo mode while taking damage highly recommend this if you're in a cool taking a picture start taking damage it should execute so that way you don't die and then have to run all the way back over there the GPS line, I actually have mine off, but for you new returning players, this could be good. So when you set a mark, like right, say if I set a mark here, it would actually show a line directly through here, but I actually have mine off. But let me just show you real quick what it would look like if I had it on. So we're gonna go right here, GPS line on, boom, you see the line it goes through. I kind of know where everything's at now. I play the game long enough that I don't need that anymore, but some of you guys, might be something for you to keep on just something to keep in mind enable signature weapon swap effect i turn this off this is a effect that every time you swap to your signature weapon it's kind of like a slow motion effect i have mine off but it's up to you additional field of view highly recommend this because i think most of you guys will be at zero and when you do it your character definitely looks like he's mo it's a visual effect by the way guys it's why on PC, people have the field of view. You also see a little bit more to your left or right, but you see how it 100% looks like 
I'm going slower. I'm not going any slower. It's just I look like it. And some of you guys might see gameplay like, well, why did your character look? He's moving a little bit faster than mine. Well, that is it. It's just the field of view. We used to not have this on console. I'm on PS5 right now, but all console players, whether you're on Xbox or PC, you can max this out. I always run mine 25, 25. And then look, you see we're running the same, but it looks like we're moving a little bit faster, right? Um, it's just, and you can see a little bit more to your left, a little bit more to your right. So just something for you guys to keep in mind. You're not going any faster, but visually, it looks like you're going faster and a lot of players like playing with their field division like that but that's really up to you motion sickness mode um i have mine i have no because i get no motion sickness so that's something you can turn on and then the hud tutorials this is definitely recommend to have this on for you newer players um for your returning players maybe if you want a refresher but again i have mine off so we go to the ui and we'll just go through here one thing all of you guys always ask me how do i get those damage numbers to pop up typically i think you're on the random combat text what you want is floating and those those floating numbers they'll pop up highly recommend this um you can do 2d2 but for me floating is the best i love how they float and you can actually really see the numbers and see how hard you're hitting and it looks good also in videos too so pretty cool um raid speed run ui if you like doing any of the raids um you can have this on and you can kind of keep track of how fast your team is doing it um if you don't want all that clutter in your screen just turn it off the active skill talents above crosshairs display the activated talent bus above the crosshairs for easier viewing. I have mine on. So say if I have a talent right here that pops up right above my crosshairs, it would come on. So if I proct close and personal or if I proct, um, let's see another one that we can do. I can't even think of any off the top of my head. Let's see real quick. Um, Optimus, you would see preservation. I'm trying to get another one that typically you see you would see perfect killer once you kill an enemy you should see the the, the little the little symbol pop up so yeah there's, there's quite a few of them that do pop up and that's just it, it, it provides for a very very smooth viewing so that way you know exactly when you have your 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 active talents loot being visibles i have that on you can turn it off if you want less clutter on your screen that's when you get loot you'll see a gold or you'll see an exotic so it's really up to you audio that remember that that really just depends and this is going to change whether you're on pc or xbox or playstation right this was just really up to you how you have this for the controls this can be for everybody right um typically i play controller whether i'm on pc or on um playstation 5 i'm currently on playstation 5 so parkour mode during gameplay turn this one off some people like it it automatically parkour you and keep you running um i do have parkour mode when i'm on auto run but my auto run is kind of disabled and i'll explain why in a just a second so my camera sensitivity and aim sensitivity i have my maxed out i feel like this two are really up to you sensitivity is always going to be personal preference but i will tell you if you start to play at a higher sensitivity sooner or later you'll get so used to it that it it will feel very slow for you and it'll feel like you were playing lower if you play on a lower sensitivity all the time if you go up at first it's going to be very fast so something you need to if you want to get faster have faster um sensitivity well then what you need to do is max that bad boy out so the scope sensitivity modifier i still have mine on three i do not want that fast i still want to have that precision aim and then i can aim in scope in and you know do my thing controller vibration i typically have mine off on almost every game if you enjoy that that function where you're firing a weapon and you can feel the rumble well, then you want to have that one on. The button layout, mine is on default, but that's personal preference. Left stiff, um, dead zone, I think this is default two, two, two. Um, some people will say put it on zero. I've never had an issue leaving it on the dead zone that they put on. So um, the good thing is if you have like a PlayStation Edge controller, you can adjust the dead zone in there and never have an issue. Invert wide access, invert access, I have mine off, but that's again, personal preference. Now, toggle to sprint, um, needing to either hold down your sprint control or only needing to tap it. I have mine no. And what that means is when I'm sprinting, I have to hold down my trigger, right? So whether however you configure your controller. And the reason I do this is because it allows me to get better control of when my guy sprints, right? So that's why I like it. A lot of guys who PvP a lot use it too because it helps with their strafing. So just something that they do um again it just depends if you're a great strafer could be work good I, if you if you just want more control you can do if you don't like holding down then that's where you're going to want to put yes 
180 sprint turn i have this one off but you can turn that one on it's really up to you auto look center turning center to the camera when moving on or off i have mine off enable auto run i have yes but again i can't if i if i since i have toggle the sprint off i can never get mine to auto run it, it just won't do it I, I always have to hold the button um movement can exit cover i have that one on that's so good because like if you get in cover you hit back on your d stick or you are on your back button whatever if you're on keyboard that will help you 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 will move and get out of cover so very very good um for a lot of you guys we're gonna keep going down to the controls let's see what else we have down here um cover movement around corner button press i have that no because you just want to be able to get around the corner let me so like say for instance we're here right say we want to get around we would have to push a button to do this right here we just move jump over get in cover and we can just do it right so you definitely have to decide if that's something you want typically i have seen most people have it as default which is off right um is no um, move around corner speed i have mine on fast you can do slow fast obviously aim assist on or off i'll let you guys decide that's personal preference some people think that they aim better without it off they feel like the aim assist is kind of janky it's really up to you grenade aim assist on for me and then hold to aim i have yes and then cancel skill while aiming yes so, so like say if i was going to throw out my my um, turret, if I were to aim in, it would cancel the skill without me throwing it, right? So I was gonna throw in my hive, boom, I hit my, I aim in and it cancels it without me throwing it. So that's really good. So if you're about to throw it and you feel like you need to, that is something you can do right there. So a really good setting for whether you're on controller or on mouse and keyboard on PC, up to you. And then enter cover on long press, I have mine on no. Um, that's also a personal preference. We go to graphics now. Remember, this is going to change whether you're on PC or, and I always tell people, whatever your PC can handle is what you need to do. On my PC, I've done settings in the past on this channel and I have mine fully maxed out. I'm running a 4090, top of the line, everything at the moment. And the thing runs like a beast over 150 to 170 FPS, 4K, all the works. On PC, you don't have all those settings. I have mine on 15, 10, 15, and neutral lighting off. I feel like neutral lighting um, is really bad for the, the dark, the nighttime in this game, and it makes everything very dark. And then obviously um, HDR off, I just have that off for me. Um, so for the VoIP, that's really up to you. Know that so you can hear like other players in the DZ. Um, you can do dark zone VoIP channel, and I have mine on. If you get tired of listening to people, just put allied only. And there you go. So you, this is really, you can change that, whatever. And the only other thing I have is accessibility is on-screen keyboard. I have this one on, and then I just have to hit down on the D-pad and I can send text messages to my group. So if you guys were wondering how to do that on um, PC, well, on um, PS5 or Xbox or PlayStation 4, well, that's how you do it. And that's pretty much it. Those are my best settings, um, exactly what I use. And I think if you guys have any questions with any of these, well, let me know in the comments, but these settings right here should work for most of you. And remember, the only difference on PC will be your graphic settings. And that's going to be a little bit personal preference on how well your computer can handle it. So that's why it wouldn't even matter. But the controls themselves, all this can be changed for mouse and keyboard. And then obviously you can customize um, your your controls on keyboard for PC however you want and that's a little bit more personal preference but overall the gameplay UI those everybody should be able to follow these and be good with so so I'm gonna wrap this one up guys thanks again if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like see you in the next one hey nothing but skills out